All right, so my game has movement to the right and to the right only. Also, I have to hit the arrow key an individual time, every single time I want it to go to the right. Let's clean up this movement. Let's do some advanced movement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna create four variables that keep track of whether or not a certain key has been pressed. Now you could do a dictionary, you could do a list, you could do a lot of different things, but for the ease, of this and the fewer things that I have to teach you before you actually start typing code, let's just do four variables. So we'll call move left and we'll set that equal to false. This is going to be a Boolean. This is going to be a switch that is either turned on or off. I'm gonna do the same thing for move right. And you could probably guess what I'm gonna do after this. Go ahead and get them all typed in here. Now that I have my variables created that are the switches that are going to keep track of whether or not a key has been pressed down. Now, when I press the right key, instead of actually doing the movement, I'm just gonna turn a variable on. I'm gonna say move right is now true. Okay, let's do this for the rest of the keys. All right, so here is my new while loop. So when I press a key down, I turn these to true if it happens to be the correct key. Now I need to turn them back off when I let up on the key. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this entire if statement and I'm going to put it down here. I'm gonna fix my indentation so that the if key downs line up. So we can see if and if that all lines up, I'm gonna change this to an LF so that it registers correctly. And then instead of doing key down, I'm gonna say key up. So when I let go of a certain key, I will then set these movements back to false. Basically, all we have done is said, if you're pressing the key, it's true. If you're no longer pressing the key, it's false. All right, so now that we have flipped these Booleans, now we can actually apply the movement based on the condition of the variables. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down here. Now this is gonna be a little hard to see here, guys, but I am making sure that I am no longer in the for loop. I'm no longer getting an event. Now I'm just reading variable names. So I no longer have to listen for events. And now I can say if move underscore right. Now I'm not saying if move right equals equals true because move right itself holds the value of true or false. So I can just say if move right, then I can do player underscore x plus equals 10. I'm just going to move it to the right. Now, if I run my game here, I can now, whoa, whoa, that was, that was, really, that was really fast. Okay, let's try that again. So I hit it once, oops, let's click on the game. So if I hit it once, I move 10, but if I hold it down, I move all of the 10s. So 10's way too much, let's just do one. <laughs> let's try that, let's run it again. Click it, I move, I hold it down, I move. Cool, it's not perfectly smooth, obviously there's lots more optimization that can happen here, but at least we have that working. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for all the other movements. So I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna go down here, I'm going to paste it in, and I'm gonna say if move left, now I can subtract one because we're going in negatively. We're going the other direction, the X direction. If you increase X and move right, then you must decrease X to move left. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do this for all of the rest of the keys and make sure it works. Rerun my game and I can see the movement totally works. And because of how we're using the Booleans, I can measure two key presses at the same time, which allows me to move diagonally in my canvas here. Okay, this is exciting. We have advanced movement. We've got an image on our screen. Now we just gotta build an actual game. If you've already built an actual game, drop it in the comments. If you thought this was a terrible way to do things and you have a better way, tell me, tell me in the comments. I wanna learn, that's why I make these. Actually, I make these to teach, but you know, learning's part of, part of teaching too. All right, build this, have fun guys. We'll see you in the next one.